So fecal microbiota transplants are a, they're a really fascinating kind of novel area of human medicine and human research. Um, and the premise is that feces is kind of a, what a lot of people consider kind of a whopping dose of probiotics plus prebiotics. There's some nutrition in there. There's also microbial metabolites in there. So it's this kind of big package of all of the good things in a microbiome. And oftentimes feces has the bad things as well, which is why for fecal transplants, the donor feces is heavily screened. So normally feces is collected from a healthy human donor. It is screened for pathogens, parasites, genes of concern. If it passes that screening, it then becomes potential donor material to use as a transplant in somebody who may have a gastrointestinal infection or some sort of microbial imbalance or dysbiosis. And this is all done under physician care. Uh, so this is not something that we would ever recommend someone try doing at home. But then the fecal material is um, transplanted in some way into the, the recipient, the person who's having a health concern. And the goal is for that community to then engraft and colonize the gastrointestinal tract. And in a lot of cases, the purpose is to outcompete pathogens or infections. So for example, the classic use of FMTs is for Clostridium difficile or C. diff infection in humans, which was an intractable disease for so long. The treatments didn't work very well. It was very recurrent and very problematic and pretty debilitating. But the most successful treatment to date is the use of antibiotics. So trying to eliminate as much of the pathogen and the microbiome as you can, followed by a fecal transplant, which then colonizes the gastrointestinal tract with a healthy microbiota, as along with all of those other kind of good stuff in feces, the prebiotics, the metabolites. And it almost like resets the system. It recolonizes using a community that we know successfully engrafts in human guts because it came from a human donor. Um, and we know that it can, it is not going to have that same pathogen.